Hello, my name is Mohamed Dabo, and welcome to another edition of the El Sanka Super Show on Amaze TV, the program where we interview the creme de la creme of our society and explore with them how they can accelerate the progress of our community. My guest today has achieved a lot for herself and for our community and is hungry for more. She is currently NHS Medical Center Practice Manager and that is after obtaining a postgraduate degree in healthcare from the Queen Mary University of London and she has been in this job for 21 years. One of her achievements here was to lead a team of experts which helped deal the COVID-19 pandemic a blow that it seems no longer able to recover from. It might amaze you to know also that my guest today is a chairperson of the intellectually volatile, hugely male-dominated CKC Old Boys Association, Cuba. And through her exceptional management skills, she has been able to retain this position for a considerable length of time. She will tell us how long that has been uh, in a few minutes. Let us now meet my guest today, who is no less a person than Mrs. Isita Green. Welcome to our studios, Isita. Thank you very much for having me, Mohammed. Okay. Well, first thing I want to start off with is you went to school in Freetown and then you were attracted by our, an almost all-boys school, a school that uh, only admits students, uh, girls, in sixth form. What actually was the attraction there? Um, actually, um, having completed my O-levels in Freetown and obviously primary school as well, um, it was very apparent how difficult it was um, to go to school in Freetown, transportation, schooling. So I was determined to have a very good A-levels result. And, um, and I didn't want all of the distractions in Freetown. So um, I wanted to do this in a quieter um, you know, locality or, or area. And um, CKC was the only, well, was the best school actually that did sciences in sixth form, and um, that's how I got there. Well, if I can take you on the point of distraction, you're very much aware that CKC is a 95% male dominated boys, and therefore the girls' population is actually very small. That did not distract you in any way, did it? Well, I grew up with boys. I grew up with my brothers, and um, we used to play a lot together. I was kind of a tomboy, actually. So I was, I was used to being around boys, and um, yeah, so, so it, it, it was not really a distraction. In fact, I think it was a very welcoming balance. Okay. The organization that you're a chairperson of is actually called COBA as its acronym, College Old Boys Association. Do you find this um, really fine for you? Is it something that perhaps you might want to change in the future? Would you, do you find it um, friendly for women at all? Actually, I've had a discussion about that with a female Korean as well. And um, I feel, as far as I'm concerned, it is a boys' school. Um, even though, of course, it's got mixed, you know, sixth form um, with, with girls. Well, ultimately, it is a boys' school, and I think it should stay a boys' school. So the acronym doesn't bother you at all because it is not actually gender friendly, is it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think um, it's best to keep to the tradition and recognize it as, as a boys' school. Right, okay, so let's fast forward now to your arrival in London and then you did your Master of Science at Queen Mary, the University of London. And what actually attracted you to this profession that you are in now? Well, I've always been interested in the medical field. I've you know, been interested in medicine and um, fortunately when I arrived in the UK my very first job was working in the medical centre and um, I found out that I really, you know, enjoyed working in the environment, I really liked it, it was, it was quite intellectual, very, you know, educational environment, you learn something new every day and that's what really attracted me and I just continued to develop myself professionally and edu educationally, you know, in, in that career. 
Facts. What is it that actually uh, makes you enjoy this job that you're doing? I think it's um, healthcare and education are very important to me. I think it's just knowing that you're helping people and um, you know supporting the community and um, you know just um, help promoting health and well-being for people generally. I find that very fulfilling actually. Would you be able to tell us at all what has been your greatest achievement in this particular job you're doing? The healthcare one, the healthcare management. Well, one of my greatest achievements, actually ongoing, um, because I constantly, um, you know, develop or um, implement NHS England directives and um, implement services and policies. But one of my greatest achievements, actually, is um, was when NHS England was procuring and tendering um, a major service, actually, for primary care. And I was one of the, the, the committee members um, that actually chose one out of three um, um, people, you, you, you know, um, um, suppliers. And I found that very fulfilling and interesting. And, and you know, the service is still going on. So you, it's really good. I also noticed that in this particular job you're doing, there are many others, many other practices, but there are not many ethnic minorities, they are blacks particularly. What might be the reason for that? that that's something by white people. And, uh, you, you know, interestingly, um, I 